Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and the American left is launching a major offensive to try to overturn the election results from the 8th of November. They have launched a major, major offensive. Uh, here we have, this is, the site's called The Intercept from Glenn Greenwald. And he's talking about a Washington Post article that promotes a shadowy group that nobody's ever heard about, about until now. And of course, they're given instantaneous credibility from the left. I mean, the left is just fawning over this group like they're some kind of experts. And what they're saying is that the Russians used various news sites for propaganda to over, to uh, defeat hologram Hillary, and therefore the election is null and void. So let's get started. Washington Post, and um, and um, by the way, this is going to be a two-part deal because after I get done with this, I'm dealing with the information war stuff first, and then I'm going to talk about some other things that the left is doing, a couple other things that they're doing to try to overturn the election. Washington Post on Thursday night promoted the claims of a new shadowing organization that smears dozens of U.S. news sites that are critical of U.S. foreign policy as being routine peddlers of Russian propaganda. There they are again. They're blaming, uh, they're blaming Russia again. The article by reporter Craig Timberg headlined, Russian propaganda effort helped spread fake news during election, experts say. Cites a report by a new anonymous website calling itself Proper Not which claims that millions of Americans have been deceived this year in a massive Russian misinformation campaign. They're blaming the Russians. The group's list of Russian disinformation outlets includes WikiLeaks and Drudge Report, as well as Clinton critical left-wing websites such as Truthout, Black Agenda Report, Truth Dig, and Naked Capitalism, as well as libertarian venues such as antiwar.com and the Ron Paul Institute. This post report was one of the most widely circulated political news articles on social media over the last 48 hours with dozens, perhaps hundreds of U.S. journalists and pundits with large platforms hailing it as an earth-shattering expose. It was the most read piece on the entire post website after it was published on Friday. Yet the article is rife with obviously reckless and unproven allegations and fundamentally shaped by shoddy, slothful journalistic tactics. It's not surprising to learn as BuzzFeed uh, Sheer Frankel noted a lot of reporters passed on this story. Its huge flaws are self evident. But the post the post gleefully ran with it and then promoted it aggressively led by its Executive Editor Marty Barron. Pro Russian propaganda helps spread fake news and elections at independent researchers. It's not researchers, these are Democrat Party operatives in all likelihood. So, now let's get to the uh, Russian. Uh, this is Washington Post. This is an article by Craig Timberg that uh, says Russia's increasingly sophisticated propaganda machinery, including thousands of botnets, teams of paid human trolls, and networks of websites and social media accounts, echoed and amplified right wing sites across the internet as they portray Clinton as a criminal hiding it potentially fatal health problems and preparing 
to hand control of the nation to a shadowy cabal of global financiers. The effort also sought to heighten the appearance of international tensions and promote fear of looming hostilities with nuclear armed Russia. Oh, for crying out loud. This is pure propaganda on the part of the Washington Post. This is not a news source as far as I'm concerned. I will not use it any longer for hardly anything. After they've done this, this is a, just a vicious, vicious attack on free speech. And I'll get to that. There's more on that in another article. Watch report this week with They essentially want to erode faith in the U.S. government or U.S. government interests, said Clint Watts, a fellow for, at the Foreign Policy Research Institute, along with two other researchers, has tracked Russian propaganda since 2014. This was their standard mode during the Cold War. The problem is that this was hard to do before social media. Watts report on... Um, this work with colleagues Andrew Weisberg and Jan Berger appeared on National Security Online Magazine War on the Rocks under this month under the headline Trump Trolling for Trump How Russia is Trying to Destroy Our Democracy. Another group called Prop or Not, that's the one that I showed you uh, a nonpartisan collection, that is a lie. That's flat out why. They are not nonpartisan. They are uh, Democrat Party operatives. A nonpartisan collection of researchers with foreign policy, military, and technology backgrounds planning to release its own findings Friday showing the startling reach and effectiveness of Russian propaganda campaigns. It's just flat out why. They're only, they are hiding behind a website, we don't even know their names. But here you go. Uh, they have been given instantaneous credibility from the American left. And Washington Post is sitting there fawning over them and saying, yep, it's all true. These people are right, they're experts. Listen to them. This is a disgusting, despicable sight. Now, uh, part two of the information war here. This isn't part two of the videos. This is still part of the same video, but... Uh, the Washington Times is explaining that what they're doing with this fake news stuff is they're trying to squelch any type of opposing views, which is what the left does. And they are notorious for this type of thing. They're trying to squelch. They don't want anybody to have any type of opposing views they can, uh, to theirs, so they're trying to eliminate it by saying it's all fake. I get that on the internet constantly. So this one's really not that much of a surprise. Okay. Now all these sources are always or inherently problematic. None, neither all, or all of them are fake or false. The professor, Melissa Zimdars at Merrimack College in Massachusetts, told Times they should be considered in conjunction with other news info sources due to their tendency to rely on clickbait headlines or Facebook descriptions, etc. Et I already dealt with this uh, leftist pink county more on Melissa Zimdars. 
But, you know, they're doing this fake. They're saying it's fake, or they're saying it's Russian, so we're going to shut all that down. And what they want to do is they want to shut down everything except the official U.S. government sites, ABC, CBS, NBC, PBS, NPR. Are you getting a picture? Just like it was in the old Soviet Union, and that's what they want to do. All right, so that's in the part one. Part two is going to deal with what hologram Hillary and company are doing to try to physically overturn the election. I'm on the facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.